good morning students today we will start the last animal tissue that is the nervous tissue its origin the nervous tissue arises from ectoderm of the embryo <coughs> a special property the cells of the nervous tissue that is neurons provide the quickest means of communication within the body and help the body to give response to the external stimulus thus the cells of the nervous tissue that is neurons are considered as impulse generating and impulse conducting unit neurons possesses two important basic properties excitability and conductivity excitability is the excitation by external stimulus <coughs> by changing the action potential of their membrane conductivity is to carry a wave of electric impulse from dendron to <coughs> <coughs> conductivity is to carry a wave of electric impulse from dendron to axon general structure nervous system is made up of nervous tissue nervous tissue is composed of nerve cells that is neurons and supportive cells called neuroglia or glial cells nervous tissue its structure neuron is covered by neurolemma and is made up of two distinct regions cytone and cytoplasmic extension that is axon cytone or cell body is also called perikaryon or soma cells contains granular cytoplasm with large number of network of neurofibrils various cell organelles like mitochondria golgi complex rough endoplasmic reticulum and centrally placed nucleus the granules present in cytoplasm are conical rich in rna and are involved in protein synthesis these are called nissels granules cytoplasmic extension seen arising from the cytone namely dendron and axon see the diagram of a neuron showing various parts cell body dendrites axon neural impulse myelin sheath terminal branches of axon dendrites are thin small cytoplasmic extensions seen in the periphery of the cyton these are many in numbers and break into numerous fine branches which help to carry impulse towards the cell body and are provided with few of the neurofibrils axon is the single longest cytoplasmic process useful in conduction of impulse away from the cell body it is lined by axonal membrane and encloses cytoplasm called exoplasm it contains large number of mitochondria rough endoplasmic reticulum and neurofibrils but lacks nissels granules and golgi complex the axon throughout the length is wrapped by schwann cells the schwann cells secretes a lipid covering which forms an insulating myelin sheet the terminal ends of the axon in both myelinated and non myelinated neurons shows presence of many solid knob like a structure called telodendrons they are filled with neurosecretory materials acetylcholine and adrenaline which act as a neurotransmitter now see the structure of synapse stimuli rich the cyton or cell body through dendrites and the impulses are passed on from cyton towards axon the telodendrons of the axon one of one neuron comes in close functional opposition between dendrites of the another neuron this type of functional contact between axons and dendrites of the two different neuron is called synapse the impulse from the one neuron passes to another neuron only through a synapse 
The space enclosed between the telodendron of the first neuron and the cytone of the second neuron forms a synaptonemal complex. In the region, the ends bulb of the first neuron reaches its content, that is the neurotransmitter, on excitation. The impulse is passes pass usually in a one-way direction through this complex. Yes, so the structure of synapse. Vesicles having the neurotransmitters, acetylcholine, noradrenaline, etc., which carry the impulses between the two neurons. The nature of nerve impulse is electrochemical. Neuroglial cells. In the central nervous system, the inner neuro, neuronal space is filled with a large amount of supporting non-nervous cells called neuroglial cells or microglial cells or oligodendrocytes. These cells are more in number as compared to the neurons. They are capable of regeneration and division which is lacking in nerve cell. The glial cells are useful in supporting the neurons, providing nourishment of neurons and provide protection to neurons by engulfing foreign particles, phagocytosis. Nerve consists of several bundles, fasciculi. Each bundle is made up of many nerve fibers. Each fiber is fasciculum or bundle is surrounded and held to the other by a thin layer of connective tissue called endoneurium. Each bundle or fasciculum is enclosed by a coat of white fibers tissue now termed perineurium. Each nerve consisting of all these bundles are enveloped by another coat of white fibrous tissue called epineurium. All the parts are shown in this diagram. Classification of neurons on the basis of the structure, function and medullary seat. On the basis of the structure, there are three types, unipolar, bipolar and multipolar. On the basis of function, sensory and motor nerves. On the basis of presence and absence of medullary seat, medullated and non-medullated neurons. See the structure. Depending on the number and ar arrangement of cytoplasmic extension, the neurons are unipolar neurons, has single process. It is also called monopolar neuron. Bipolar neurons have two processes originating from the opposite poles of the cytone. And multipolar neurons have more than two processes. In picture, all the trees are very much clear. Function of neuron. Sensory neurons are responsible to external stimulus and carries impulse towards the central nervous system. The axon part of the sensory neurons terminates in the intermediate neurons, which are seen in brain and spinal cord. These are stimulated by the impulse that are received from the sensory neuron. Motor neurons carry impulse from the central nervous system towards the effector organ, which brings about the responses. Structure of sensory and motor neuron, how they are present in our body. Sensory nerves carry impulse from various sense organs to the central nervous system. And motor nerve carry information from brain and central nervous system to the effective organ. Medullary sheath, malinated or medullary nerve fibers. Schwann cells secretes an insulating fatty layer around the nerve fiber which form myelin sheath. It is interrupted at regular intervals called nodes of Ranvier. A thin delicate member called neurolemma surrounds the axon. Cranial nerves of vertebrates are this type. Malinated or medullated nerve fibers are useful in conducting impulse at faster rate. 
as the impulse jumps from one node to of Ranvier to another, it is called saltatory conduction. non magnetic or non magnetic nerve fibers, the axon of this nerve fibers lacks the myelin sheath as the swan cells present around the nerve fibers does not secrete the sheath. These are present in autonomous nerves of vertebrates and invertebrates neural nervous system. These nerves fibers also help in the conduction of impulses but at much slower rate as compared to magnetic nerve fibers. That's all about the animal tissue.